Armenia has found itself in the middle of a feud between Canada and Russia. This spat started after Canadian Foreign Minister Melanie Joly announced that Canada would open an embassy in Armenia. In the press release by the Canadian Foreign Ministry, Ottawa mentioned that the decision was made to counter Russia's destabilizing activities and further counter the impacts of the Russian invasion of Ukraine and support Armenia in its democratic development. The Russian embassy in Yerevan in turn released a statement calling the Canadian Foreign Ministry statement overtly arrogant and dismissive towards Armenia. The response read, One cannot but wonder how such a line will affect the well-being and security of the Armenian people. Jolie herself then tweeted that Canada was increasing its presence in Armenia and four other countries to push back on Russian influence. The tweet was later deleted and two new tweets regarding the topic did not mention Russia. And the Armenian Defense Ministry is reporting that Azerbaijani forces fired in the direction of the village of Khachik in Armenia's Vyatsor region, as well as on the road leading to the village. According to the ministry statement, the car of the mayor was damaged, but there were no casualties on the Armenian side. The incident took place on July 4th at around 9.15 pm and heavy caliber weapons were used. And Armenian Foreign Minister Arad Mirzoyan is in Madrid for a working visit. Mirzoyan met yesterday with the Speaker of the Spanish Congress of Deputies. The two sides discussed bilateral relations, democratization, the latest developments related to the armenia azerbaijan peace talks, the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, and humanitarian issues caused by the Second Karabakh War. Mirzoyan is set to also meet with the Spanish Foreign Minister and other high-ranking dignitaries. And Arik Dana Gulyan is an associate professor of nuclear science and engineering at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the United States. Professor Dana Gulyan sat down with Sivonet to discuss the intersection of science, education, and national security. He also talked about the Metamor nuclear power plant and the recent launch of Armenia's first space satellite. And finally, in the latest edition of Aliyev Watch, a civil net series that deconstructs Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev's actions and statements, analyst Eric Hagopian unpacks the Baku International Forum that took place in June and Aliyev's France 24 interview during the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh war. He discusses how Aliyev changes his tone and messaging depending on whether he is addressing a domestic audience or a Western audience.